Uh, look, the will to live meter is on 99% will to live. That's a good sign. Yes, here we're in stealth mode at night. So we're just using 1.25 amps. So every hour we use 1.25 ampere hours and that goes down by that number. And you can see my battery is when it's fully fully charged it's 218 ampere hours. You don't get to use all of those. You get to use about half maximum. Default back to the normal page. Thank you. I was busy. So yeah, you shouldn't. Uh, well, you can't use all of those on a lead acid. It's an AGM battery. Uh, but 108 is still a lot of ampere hours. And you can see uh, this monitor believes that I've got eight days and ten hours of good uh, power from this battery at this discharge rate. Now, when the solar panels are fired up, they can produce, like today, they were putting four and a half amps into the battery throughout the day, throughout most of the day here in the med. Um, and that was more than taking care of the uh, autopilot uh, power usage and everything else. So, hence, when the sun went down, the batteries were on 100, the battery was on 100%. Um, so yeah, you've got, um, as long as you're not too greedy, you've got power autonomy quite easily. Now this stealth mode, of course, is very special. In stealth mode, we don't get to use the autopilot. We get to use the bungee pilot. You seem to have joined me in my bunk. So this is the view that I have when I'm taking my little rests, my cat naps. I can see the ensign, so I can keep an eye on the wind. I can see my iPad with the chart application running on it. So I can see roughly which way we're pointing compared to the, the, the ground. Ground? The land? <laughs> the ground. <laughs> and uh, I can see my battery monitor over there. Uh, sorry, my uh, will to live monitor over there. 96% will to live right now pretty good it's gonna get higher as the day starts the sun comes up and the time currently 5.36 Zulu on the I think it's the 17th of July it might even be the 18th 18th yeah it's 18th 18th of July no 17th oh god I have no idea let's go and have a look uh, uh. <laughs> it's the 17th of July. Yeah, and we are there. Where's there? Castablanca, love. Alicante. We're near Alicante. We go to Alicante for our holidays. Oh, lovely. Uh, we like Alicante. Oh, we do too. We like Alicante. up here, then we'll go out here, then we'll go up here, then who knows what the wind is to get our final push to Valencia. Um, all day yesterday and uh, and throughout the night and today there's been a mayday relay going on for a uh, person lost overboard here off the coast of Denia. And so every now and then they broadcast the mayday relay the person overboard telling ships to keep a lookout so I shall definitely keep a lookout as I go around the corner there this, uh, you know. anyway there we go time for breakfast I think they've got tons of cigarettes and we're heading this way which is almost due north and you can see there's some land in the way so we're going to have to tack over there for a bit before we can go back that way and hopefully then there'll be no land in the way oh god these last few days have been really really tough i mean the weather's not been bad the the sailing's been quite fun but it's just 
the lack of sense of movement. It feels like it t it's taking forever just to get a few miles ticked off. It's the, the mental part of it is really tough now. I'm really fucking struggling. I'm struggling so much I'm actually listening to Radio 4. Yeah. Despite not being a lesbian, gay, bi or anything else not being a woman, being middle class and male and having conservative views none of which aligns itself with Radio 4 anymore which is a bit of a shame oh well, I cut this bit out as well so it's a little bit of politics my name is Ben night. this whole leg from here when I jived, no I tacked out to here then tacked to here the only time I've touched the tillers, the tiller, is during the tacks. The rest of the time, the tiller is actually, although it's mounted onto the tiller pilot, the tiller pilot's in standby mode. It's just, it's just lashed, as it were. It's fixed position. And these whole, all these hours and hours and hours of sailing, framing, framing. Uh, it's all been done by the magic of aerodynamics and fluid dynamics and all kind of gem dynamics. So you just ease off the main until it's sitting on the, uh, on the flow of air. It's being filled by the underside of the uh, Genoa. Yeah, it's struck your tiller down there and depending on, how, depending on how tight you've pulled your head sail, that will be your angle of sail to the wind. To the apparent wind anyway um, so you can like here to the true I'm sailing at uh, I'm sailing at 56 degrees it says on there don't take it as exact but you see with the close hold up on the wind you can see there completely close hold and that's because I've got the the Genoa completely um, bang tight bar tight on the on the winch now if I wanted to reach a little bit more uh, sorry, if I wanted to come off a little bit more, I would just loosen the genoa and then reposition the main so it's sitting nicely on it and try and keep the rudder central. You don't want the rudder offset either way because that's going to cause drag. Try and do it all with the sails and the whole keel. Or oh, to be quite honest, a little bit of reflex in a delta wing is a good thing. So uh, you could say that a small amount of what would look like weather helm might actually reduce drag on the key on the keel but i'd have to do some maths to work exactly how much effect that would have so that might be good just a little bit not too much you you just don't want drag so you want everything to be clean smooth and then just let her go and she's just she's just been like it's not rock solid of course it's not because the wind isn't rock solid but look that's that's hours and hours of drive in there I think this was 6 a.m. or something crazy when we did this turn here. It's a very long time ago and I've had to do nothing except for listen to Van the Man and shout abuse at sailors that don't know coal regs. Yeah, you, the fellow in the cat, flying the big red nice um, asymmetric spinnaker but sailing straight at me for an hour. N not, I mean, not even a degree off straight at me and then only when I called you to see if you were awake did you make an adjustment and you decided to go starboard starboard because I mean whatever moron what about I'll cut that mackerel scales and mares tails and sailors and short sails I don't know imagine so. I mean I'm almost there now so it's got to throw something at me. 